news that we are bringing you on the India China talks, which is on the LAC issue, and both sides are working positively. This is the input that we are getting. Optimistic about breakthrough, and top government sources have said NSA Doval and Wang Yi talking to each other. They had informal discussion in Jeddah and Johannesburg. Also, commander level talks are micromanagement, and sometimes it looks negative. Strategic talks are happening at the top, and positive outcome will come out soon. So far, the situation is positive, and we are expecting results soon. So, this is the particular input that we are getting on India-China relations. Remember, there were tensions between these two sides. Only recently, there was the 19th uh, Corps Commander talks as well, which took place, which also had a positive outcome that we had gotten to know. And right now, we have Akash Sharma joining us on the. Uh, uh, I'm very sorry. We have Abhishek Jha joining us on the broadcast. Abhishek, a very good morning to you. Well, what more are we learning about these inputs that have come in about the India-China relations and the talks that have been taking place? Well, uh, we have just seen a uh, day before how India and China's uh, Cook Commander level talk had happened to sort out the uh, issue of disengagement and the friction points along LAC where the uh, tension has been ongoing for the last few years at least now ever since the Galwan clash has happened. Uh, and that has showed not only the ties, the bilateral ties between the two countries, but uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the leadership of India, uh, including EMS Jashankar and NSA and Doval, has time and again underlined the fact that uh, until unless those situations at the borders are resolved, there cannot be normalcy between the uh, in, in the ties of India and China relationship. And Taking that further, and as Doval has also said that the strategic trust between the two countries has eroded uh, since the tension has erupted and along the LSE. And this was said by an Doval during his meeting with uh, Wang Yi, the, the foreign minister of, uh, of China, uh, during Johannesburg BRICS uh, talk where an of all the BRICS countries were present. And uh, uh, we have seen uh, now the latest information that we are getting is that the two uh, leader uh, and it's Doval from Indian side and Wangi from China side who, who have been given this task of uh, you know sorting the boundary issues because India and China have established this long uh, boundary uh, resolution mechanism where the special representatives talk and meet regularly uh, and they try to you know mark the line the border between India and China. The last meeting of the two leaders and it's Doval and Wangi that has happened uh, in 2019. Uh, since then, the meetings have not happened, but the but both the leaders they have been in regular touch with each other to sort out the issue, and that has become more important in the wake of Galwan clash that the tensions are high and the disengagement should continue. Uh, we have uh, uh, getting information that now uh, both the leaders, the uh, Indian side, is also believing that there will be certain outcomes, certain policy outcomes that will be coming out soon. Chinese side have also expressed opinion that uh, because of the regular talks and being touched uh, at, the, uh, at the leadership level also in the two countries, uh, there can be some positive outcome on the issue of border uh, resolution, border conflict resolution very soon between the two countries. Right, Abhishek. So one more thing now that we are seeing that, yes, there are indications and implications of the fact that these talks have been going on a positive note. Can we then speculate on the fact that this might be a turning point in the India-China relation, uh, uh, a step towards some sort of negotiations of peace? Of course, uh, see, India and China, they have had the rivalries, strategic rivalries and border disputes uh, ever since uh, in, in the uh, independence India uh, in 1994, since 1947. But those rivalry and those uh, differences had never mattered uh, in overall dynamics of bilateral relationship. But ever since Galwan clash, everything has changed and just going downwards because uh, the tension, the disengagement is something that India has been seeking complete disengagement at all the friction points along LAC. Uh, and Chinese side, they have been claiming the patrolling rights. And, uh, you know, so they, there are aggressive posturing from the Chinese side. Also, we have seen what has happened and what transpired in Galwan. So, uh, to taking a cue from that, India is not trusting Chinese side until and unless they show some action uh, on the ground and to have, to have that Chinese side is uh, understood the, the fact that uh, you know antagonizing India will not serve them any purpose in the long run because while they both are neighbors uh, India and China they have to work collectively also at certain uh, you know multilateral organizations and to have that 
trust and to have that you know cordial relationship and or diplomatic relationship they need to understand each other's point of view and sort out the issues this engagement have happened at certain friction points but complete this engagement is something that india has been seeking and with the latest uh, you know engagement uh, uh, at the leadership level that nsa doval has just had in jeddah also with wang yi and they had met uh, with wang yi in johannesburg also few weeks ago during the brics uh, uh, nsa level talks so it looks like the these these things are going to give some positive outcome that will have a, an effect on the overall bilateral dynamics of india and china as well right abhishek thank you